guys it's Mil here and today we are going to do some or we are going to continue our OLT lettering you know it's the last chance and let's see how far we can get but I want to say that um, before this be before the matches which are going which you are going to see you know I am at 1400 and at 1400 on the ladder I lost three matches immediately after I tried to record because of hacks and some random teams I couldn't predict so I dropped to 1350 and then I I I went through the pain and went up to 1400 again won three matches in a row and then I started again from 1400 and really I, I tried another team but the Alakazam team, which I used in the last, uh, which I used in the last uh, run, in the last video, that's really the team I like the most at the moment. I don't know why, but I really I, pl I play really well with it somehow. I just I don't lose often. And right now I'm at 1400, and you'll see how I try to let up. You know, the last I tried to let up off screen on another account. And I went to 1625 and then it was night at Germany I think and it was 2 o'clock and I tried to ladder and I dropped really low like 1400 and I didn't understand why I think it was the combination of being tired match up and not really wanting to play just to let up so you really have to be concentrated and not tired to win this matches so right now we will start at 1400 we will play mostly with the Alexam team and you can enjoy the run. So another team. Let's try Hazard stacking again. And he has low body. So low bunny or Lati are his leads because my Galchop lead is very predictable. I'll just lead with Clef key and get up some spikes as he goes into Heatran I don't know what kind of Heatran it is because he has a level hit about on but he's, have, he's packing the toxic so he can switch in Lati here which he really shouldn't but I really want to play it, but he really shouldn't. So it's a bad play if I do it. Yeah, see. And now he kind of has to play rough. Oh, waterfall. Okay, he goes for play rough. Wow, that's bad damage. And I can just T wave. No, let's get damage off. Let's get damage off this thing. He goes Lati, let's paralyze this thing so that Bisharp traps it with knockoff. So that Bisharp kills it with knockoff. So that I don't have to worry about trapping it. Well, he goes into Heatran, lets it get parried, and I get a little bit of HP back. My switch into that is Garchomp. He gets parried, unfortunate. Unfortunately, but he can switch in his Azumarill or his Lati now. But on Azumarill, I can switch in my Clef key again. So I'm kind of predicting him to go into Lati now. Pardon, but that's nice too. Because I get a little bit of HP. Uh, because I get a little bit of chip damage on his Heatran. And now I will go for knockoff. Uh, Earthquake predicting his Azumarill. And then I have to play around. Okay, he goes apart on Earthquake to 25. You know, I hope I get a zoom roll. Okay, that's nice too. He has to. His Heatran is paralyzed. And my Keldeo is at full. My rocks are up. Hmm. 
I'm just going for Earthquake. Eagles for return. Loses a shit ton of um, HP. But he should go Heatran right now or her part on. So I'm going to for the risky play. Wow, he got me. Well, I think I made a good play there, but he just got me. And got me again. Wow. Strong place. I hope this sucker punch kills. It does. Nice. But his win condition is wasted right now and I think I win with spamming Psychic and had to hit one Focus Blast. So just going for Iron Hit here. Knock him out. And he can't even kill me with is that range? Is that knockoff range? Let's go Lati and go for Draco. No, I, I, I am call mining here. Toxic. Draco kills a power on 100% if I hit. I think I should stick with this team. I don't know why it seems to have better matchup against all other kind of teams. I had HP fire on Alakazam, but it really wasn't worth it. I'm going to switch. I really want to switch in my Bisharp. It's gonna earthquake. Because it makes no difference. Hey, Powder is at 4. If he goes for default right here, I win with Bisharp. Well, let's hope he does. Okay, I'm... <laughs> okay. Let's go for Pursuit or Sucker Punch. I would switch out on his place. Yeah. And now Hippodon comes in. Okay, this is at 12.1%. I need this at 60%. So I'm I'm second Keldeo. I'll go into Lati and go for Draco. Just to bring in him bring him in Alakazam range. Even if he slack offs, I think that's range. No, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spam Iron Head. That way he stays down at 60 or something. If I flinch here. Oh, I flinched him. Okay, that's game. So this team really, really is something. I don't know, I win a lot with it, so I think I'll stick with it. He puts me asleep. But, you know, he has no recovery. He can kill me if he wants to, but Alakazam wins this match. And this was a pretty pretty strong and balanced team. And we win this. Bad game? Why? No, I... I still had many options. So let's see. 13, 92. We didn't win anything. That's ridiculous. I made so many matches. And the last four I lost, ah, the losses were ridiculous. So let's see. Okay, still up. Uh, let's work for some more battles with this team because I really feel comfortable with it. The team with Charizard is really nice. 
it's really solid and it's from TDK, one of the most solid teams, but also one of the most standard teams. But if you get hacks all the time, there's really nothing you can do. So this dude is running Sand plus B Drill, plus Talon Flame, plus these two. So there is a lot, a lot of pressure on Guard Jump, and I have to keep it healthy to win. But he struggles a little bit, little bit with Kaleo, so just going to lead with that. He doesn't really have a solid secret sword switch in. Even okay, he just sacks his sand setter and goes into superior. I'll go into Klefki and T wave it. That way, I can kill it with. Anything really with Bishop, for example. Okay, this dude has HP ground. Do I need this? What's my switch in? I could make a play and go into Lati, but I need I really need that for Keldia, so I'm just going to set up a spike. He gets parrot and now he should go for I hope he doesn't go for Dragon Pulse. Okay, he goes for Giga Drain, which is nice, which is fine. Because I knock him out with the Psy Shock. Yep. Threat one, two eliminated. And he switches an Excadrill which is on a balloon. Clefki is my play. Goes for Iron Head. Okay, I know he doesn't. Oh, that's no. I know he doesn't kill my Keldio from full. And also not my Garchomp, but, but I have to keep it healthy. So I'm going to go for Secret Sword on this one. I could go for Scald. But yeah, he just sex X, which is really nice for me. And now if I get rid of this Keldeo, my um, my guard jump just wins because if it doesn't if Talon Flame is offensive I win because he has to attack me to win of course. So Bishop is also nice against B Drill. Keldeo does no nothing except for his except against his Keldeo. And he should go for U-turn or poison jab or something. Okay, he goes for U-turn. That means he takes another spike. That means he will be in sucker punch rate of Bishop. Okay, he decides to go Keldeo. And that's my chance to go for Alakazam. And just psychic. I hope he's adamant B drill. That way my Alakazam mod speeds it. So just gonna psych psychic here. He's not scarf, which is nice. Goes into Talon Flame. Hmm. I think psychic Latio is my best play. And then I can get up the rocks. Ooh, that's banded. So that way he cannot switch in anymore. If I hit this dragon tail right now. And he kills himself, nice. Somehow this team has a pretty good matchup against most teams. So I think I'm going to use this to ladder all the time. Although I'm lacking ground switch ins, I'd really love to have uh, Landris instead of Garchomp. Yeah, that would be an option, but 
Garchomp is just so great against Talonflame. As you see, so we'll try, maybe I'll change it later. So he has to go for a move that touches me. And yeah, he will just take... It doesn't even kill, so he kills himself. Alright, we are back at 1400 again, I assume. And let's not lose our hope and just move on. So, yeah, I think that's how all people do it. They just move on. 49. Now, I feel most comfortable with this Alakazam team. I really don't know why. But I'll continue to play it. What's this? Okay. So let's try to get to 1500 again. Cloister. Cloister. Okay. No, I think he'll lead with Cloister. That's why my lead of choice is Keldeo. Also, Keldeo destroys him. Pretty much. One, two, three. And this thing cannot switch in. Oh, that's a free scald. <laughs> I hope he's not Scarf Solar Beam. No, that wouldn't make sense. He has to go Altaria or something. And for Altaria, I have my. Clef key to T wave it, and I have flash cannon. So that thing can't really touch me. Okay, he stays in on the scald. He is. He's bedef. So I can really knock off here. Nothing, nothing really appreciates a knockoff. He switches in that thing. And I'm pretty sure he's going for rocks or earthquake. Thing is, if I go Latios, go for Draco, his Altaria sets up. If I go Alakazam, he might. He might earthquake. If I go Keldeo, I don't want him earthquaking me. So I guess my safest play is to go into Guard Chomp. Yeah, because he went for Earthquake. And I kind of want to go for Dragon Tail. Because I know the Altaria is coming in. Okay, he's going for Ice Shard. He'll go for another Ice Shard if he does that like this. Oh, he goes for Rapid Spin. Okay, that's another Freeze go. I actually can go for Icy Wind. If he decides to go into Altaria that gets killed immediately, Icy Wind should be enough to kill a Dawn Fan because it has literally zero spadef. So yeah, he's in a really bad spot now. And Guard Jump is at 43.7%. Goes for Ice Shot on my Kelio. That's interesting. But I killed this rapid spinner, that means that next time too spooky. Right. That means that next time, the next time I get up rocks, they stay up, and they will trouble his tornadoes, his cloister, and his altaria very much. Oh, shadow ball does around half. Okay, something is going to get T waved, and then I'll set up spikes to damage the altaria if it megas goes into the oven. Garchomp is my play because I can get up rocks. I don't think he can knock me out, yep. And I don't really care about rocks, I'm not particularly weak to rocks, you know. Bishop takes 6%, Latias 12, Kaldio takes 6%, Alexam takes nothing. Okay, he goes into Gengar. Do I need my charm? My charm. Not really. Heatran is dead. <laughs> Just go for Dragon Tail. Okay. Uh, if I go Clef Key, he can. He's Life Orb, so he shouldn't have substitute. Let's let's force him out here. Let's force him out. He should have taunt as the last spot. Taunt is. Literally the best for move slot. 
on Gengar. So I just click Sucker Punch here. He should switch. He should sack Heatran. That would be his best play. Okay, he goes into that. Doesn't this thing get killed? Barely. I think it was a roll. And he hits his focus blast. But I get off my Mega Evolush. I don't really need the Mega right now. I don't really need this. Oh, misplace, misplace. Misplace. Because I'm not fast. Okay, he thinks he's not fast enough. Probably so. Back into Keldeo and click Scald. Or even, I don't want to lock myself into Icy Wind. <laughs> I have to set Klefki on Gengar to get the Mega Ruth. Alakazam and almost everything is in range right now. Cloyster has no speed death at all. Altari, I, get, I have to, I have to damage Altari a little bit. Maybe Psy Shock from Lati, but then it can set up on me. But even a plus one Altari does not speed. Yeah, I have to go. I ri literally have to go into Latias on the Altari. I click Psy Shock all the time. Hope that he's not the defensive set, and then I can clean with Alakazam. Altair will be at 75. I think it takes 60%. Okay, he goes into Gengar. As I said, I'm going to Zack Klefki to this Gengar. I'm just going to T-Wave the thing that's coming in. And now I get the free Mega Evolution. And this should be... This should be kind of over. I don't know, I hope this kills. Didn't. Well, wow, return just knocked me out. But I can go into Keldeo, click Scald. Knock this thing out. Okay, he does the misplay, goes into Cloyster. And now... Yep, Latias lifts any hit from this thing. It is at full. And I can just click Psy Shock and kill it. So luckily my opponent misplayed. Not really the best of matchups against Altaria, but you cannot cover everything. I think I, I covered decently with paralyzing it and having much speed but yeah this is this is one more game one let's see should be 40 30 40 20